I'm Dipavli Hazra. These are the headlines at the top of 12. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh addressed the Shanghai Cooperation Summit being held in Tashkent in Uzbekistan today. He spoke on the importance of economic cooperation and the threat of terrorism. He said terrorism continues to undermine development endeavours and needs to be dealt with severely and without double standards. Delhi woke up to a thick blanket of smog as the air quality here remains severe. Meanwhile, agricultural waste burning continues unabated across Haryana, even as Chief Minister Emil Khattar appeals to farmers to not burn crop residues and test alternative methods of crop management. EDMC trucks, meanwhile, are sprinkling water in Geeta Colony as a pollution control measure. Conflicting claims by the government and Facebook-owned WhatsApp are blurring the sequence of events that followed the breach of phones of two dozen people to install the spyware Pegasus. According to reports, government sources claim that WhatsApp's notification was technical jargon and failed to convey the fact that privacy of Indian citizens was breached. WhatsApp, on the other hand, says that it had alerted the government about the breach in May. Even as the NCP chief Sharad Pawar says that the mandate from the people is for the party to sit in the opposition, there are reports that Pawar and Sonia Gandhi may meet on 4th November to discuss the possibility of extending support to Shiv Sena. Meanwhile, the impasse between BJP and Shiv Sena over power sharing continues as neither party took a step forward to break the deadlock on Friday. In a joint statement issued by Germany and India, both countries called for a halt to cross-border terror and for countries to not permit for their territories to be used to launch terror attacks on other countries in a clear reference to Pakistan. Later, in a separate interaction with German media, Merkel said that the situation in Kashmir is not sustainable and must improve. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has embarked on a three-day silent visit where he is scheduled to attend ASEAN-related summits. On the first day, Prime Minister Modi will address the Indian community in Thailand and release a commemorative coin marking the 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak. On November 3rd, Prime Minister Modi will co-chair the 16th ASEAN-India Summit. In a U.S. State Department report titled Country Reports on Terrorism 2018, Pakistan was pulled up for not being able to significantly limit funding, recruitment and training of terror outfits like LET and JEM. It also noted that Pakistan had allowed candidates overtly affiliated to terror France organizations like Hafiz Saeed to contest the general elections in the country. China has reached a consensus with U.S. trade negotiators on core bilateral issues. High-level telephonic conversations were conducted to seal the Phase 1 of trade talks. The Phase 1 pact can significantly ease the impending U.S.-China trade war. Phase 1 of trade negotiations was supposed to resolve issues regarding intellectual property rights, financial services and U.S. agricultural exports. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.